Hi folks, this is a little uh, power supply circuit that I made up to drive a Geiger Muller tube. The uh, tube itself is one I found in the skip a long time ago. It's a Mullard ZP1481. Don't know if the camera can pick that up. Takes about 430, 440 volts to, to operate. So I made up a little simple circuit in a box. Um, 430 volts from my high tension supply. Uh, goes through a couple of high value resistors to the tube and in the cathode return of the tube there's a 100k resistor which produces a voltage pulse every time there's a, a detected um, particle inside the tube. The, that pulse then gets amplified and buffered by a couple of transistors and it makes a click on a, a piezo speaker attached to the inside of the box which makes a nice loud click and it also flashes a, an LED. <clears throat> this requires a, a 12 volt supply which I'm getting from a, a lab power supply I tried a, an AC adapter, but for some reason it introduced a lot of 50 hertz noise and um, caused the the thing to basically detect continually. I'll show you that happening. So we will set things up so you can see both the tube and the LED. Uh, I'll turn on the high voltage. High voltage is coming from a uh, not to 5 kilovolt supply, I've turned it down just to 430 volts or so. And turn on our 12 volts. And hopefully there is some background uh, radiation detected, maybe a few counts every so often. <laughs> there. There's some background noise there. Now the only radioactive source I actually have is this little thing. Will that focus? There. It's out of is a, a holder I made for a source from a smoke detector, Amerasim two four one. The source itself is that little disc at the end of the holder there. So if we bring that up near the tube, you should get plenty of activity. And you can hear it clicking as well. Try putting the light off, see if it makes it any brighter. You need to go about maybe 15 millimetres away from the end of the tube before it starts detecting the, the particles. And obviously since these are alpha particles, it's easy enough to block them with just a piece of paper. Some get through, but it uh, blocks them pretty effectively. Now because I'm sensing the pulses by using a, a resistor in the cathode of the tube, this means that if you happen to try and touch the um, the, the ground, the, the cathode off the tube, which is the housing and everything else, um, you get a lot of 50 hertz pickup and it detects that. The same thing happens with let me take the 12 volt out. If I try and run it from a 12 volt AC adapter, this is just a little uh, plugged off adapter, you can probably hear the 50 hertz hum there. So presumably the, the, the adapter I'm using is a, a switch mode adapter, so it's maybe introducing a lot more noise than the, the bench power supply, which is a linear supply. But it's uh, an effective little circuit. 
quick and ready and uh, does what it's supposed to. It's the first time I've seen a GM tube actually working so it's, it's quite nice to uh, see the alpha particles being detected. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.